So they built the city state right next to our city. Allied intelligence. Our supporter Simon the Timid has come to us with valuable information. His agent in Persia have discovered a cache of unfinished maps that show the farthest reaches of the nation's borders. Simon the Timid will have the maps brought to the court, but getting the spies out of Persia will not be easy. <coughs> Smuggle them with the trade shipments. We lose 70 stone. That's half of our stone. Ask the Danes to provide safe package. Passage. Lose some legitimacy. <clears throat> Send on an official Greek escort across the border and we we'll lose a lot of opinion. Let's lose some legitimacy. Prince Alexander's miraculous return. A hush falls over the court as Prince Alexander arrives. Salt stains his torn clothing while bruises and scrapes cover his arms and face. His ragged looking companion eyes the guards nervously. My liege, it's a blessing to see you again. At times I thought I would die before I could return to you. Alexander takes a deep breath, studying his voice. You wouldn't believe the tales I have to tell. I. He's no longer missing. Met a little troublemaker after he stole something from him. <laughs> Prince Alexander becomes pet monkey owner. Okay. Learn pharmacopoeia. I'm a well-known sage. Prince Alexander becomes a herbalist as general plus four from healing actions. As a leader, all units plus two HP from healing actions. Met a brilliant woman who I joy commenced to join our court. Arathima the younger, make courtier. Court minister, yeah, maybe. So spouse, heir. Hmm. I don't really know what that means. Yeah, let's make get a new court here. Free courage. Healing neutral territory. That's good, I guess. She is upset though with me. <clears throat> For some reason. So let's see here if how long is the range? Can we go here and then shoot ranged. Let's see if we can clean out this barbarian encampment, I guess. Probably won't have a pasture here, because we get a bonus to horse resources. They are still building stuff. Nine orders left. So I guess we kind of want to continue in this direction. Here's a new city site. And we don't really have anything. 
apps to do, I think. Can take one step here. <clears throat> Yeah, let's end here. But yeah, we really want to get some more settlers out, I think. Cartage has begun constructing the hanging garden. Urban improvements. Cannot be replaced to victory point output for all cities gain 20% growth, which is pretty amazing. Prince Alexander has converted to Greek paganism. Duke Claystains is now old enough to be tutored by courtiers. <coughs> As the herders of Peia becomes more settled and prosperous, one of the wealthy landowners in Vape invite you out on a tour of her estate. The open air is exactly what I need. Let us speak of the future. Uh, Starch ambition control six pastures. Pelag Pelagrin's athletic tradition. Equestrian. New mounted units plus 50. Oh, that's good. Let's do that one. So I think we want, let's get a tactician, seems like a good idea. Got goats, we could build a fort. We can build a fort at some point, I guess. It might be good since they are enroaching on our kind of side here. But let's build a pasture for some extra growth. You are done. So you can also go and build a pasture, I think. I still don't really know how to lower this content. <coughs> Master Acolyte. Or a Trapper. Discontent. Cities slowly gain discontent over time. When a city's discontent bar fills up, overall discontent level goes up by one, which reduces growth and science and also increases maintenance. Higher discontent levels also reduce the opinion of the city's ruling family. Some ways to slow discontent include connecting your cities with a trade network, holding a festival, adopting laws such as tolerance, keeping a city's religion happy, and building baths. So, trade network road rivers urban tiles and open water okay so we maybe want to actually build a road network then so roads i guess can you build a road seems like it Right. We want to get you healed up a bit.
Rancher, all right, so we have some new here. Rancher stone cutter. Yeah, we might be good to get some extra stone. Caravan would be awesome to get out. Fifty-six. This guy is about to go down, though. I think. Administration discovered. Pacify city. Six plants. Pacification posts. Exposure. Family gift. Ah, so you can improve standing with families. Chariot would be good. Ah, so you get six more border tiles. Centralization can build farm on Mars. Nah. Ambassador. Yeah, this actually, I think. Aristocracy. Let's go with that one, I think. <clears throat> Region. What do we want here? Treasury. Lisha Settler. Let's do like a Monster Acolyte. That sounds fun. Or actually, let's do a festival. really like the mountains in this game like the terrain looks really great in comparison like if you look at civilization i'm really liking the graphics in this a lot more i think so far so you have some wine over here would be good this could potentially be really good because then we get some potentially get some sea access Oh, we got more barbarians. Assignment. A letter arrives by courier, courier from Duke Kleistein. The Academy. Dear Philip, as part of my instruction at the Academy, my tutors have directed me to write to you. All has been going well and I have little to complain of. I miss mother at times, but I must carry on. Your son, Callistens. Thank you. Please return to your duties. Influence missions give you the chance to improve other characters' opinions of your leader. At the cost of a few order and some money. They may also lead to follow-up events. You can conduct an influence mission by clicking influence button in the action panel. On the left, while a character other than your leader is selected, you may influence members of any nation, not just your own. Let me work my wills on Prince Alexander. <clears throat> He's a bit upset. So, yeah, let's, let's do that. Philippi 
is you and the governor of Pela. Upgrade. <clears throat> yeah, let's do wisdom. Wisdom would be good. And we should have done some more rules. Oh, you can't build roads here. That's a bit annoying. I thought we were going to be able to build some roads. Or... Let's see if we have some sea access over here. Kind of looks like it. Let's try to go here. City site for Babylon. You have successfully exerted your influence upon Prince Alexander. Citizens of Region trust in our justice and leadership. As a result, city leaders wish to strengthen the legal system and encourage more people to participate in the judicial process. They are considered the formation of a misophoria, a paid function that provides jurors with a salary. Such a position would be costly, but it would make Region's court second to none. <clears throat> Legal code. Require mandatory juror service. Judge. Can serve as governor or chancellor. As governor can hurry projects, specialists with money. As leader can switch laws for 100 and upgrade improvements. Stay out of region's legal system. But I think this sounds interesting. We have a lot of money, so let's do that one. Yeah, pasture looks like a good idea. New city site. Not too bad. New landmark, Sinjar Plains. Nice. More barbarians and even more barbarians. So let's see here. I don't really know what the point of roads are.
around here. So I think we want to clear out this barbarian encampment at least. And I feel like we really want to go up and get that coastal city. Judaism has established legalist theology. Queen consort Olympia has converted to Greek paganism. Duke Pias is now old enough to be tutored by courtiers. Just go back up here. Get some healing. And continue clearing out that bandit encampment. And we'll take this one and go up here. And I think you'll have to follow. Do some more discovery. We have more days. Interesting. Some production. Rancher. Stone cutter. We do. We are kind of short on stone. I think we probably want to have a festival. Try to get some reduction on our discontent. Region. I think we want to do another festival. <clears throat> Excellent student. It comes to your attention that Clestienes Ex has excelled in his tactics training, winning numerous commendations. Recommendations from officers. Kelestanius has clearly taken to his studies. It's time to choose a vocation. He should focus on battlefield leadership. What is the difference? Tactician and commander. We see that here. Commander archetype. Plus 50 if flanking. And what was the other was? Can serve as general or spy master. All right, so let's do. Uh, Time passes quickly, Duke Hippias is growing up fast and eager to learn. Commerce. Spy Master might be nice. Prince Alexander, your son, and Princess Consort Aretha the Younger have given birth to your a daughter, Duchess Anita. Duke Simon is now old enough to be tutored by courtiers. Interesting. So let's send up the slingers and the warrior. Clear out the next barbarian encampment. Let's have our settler continue to a new place. <clears throat> Constructing a road over here, that's good. 
exploring over here. education. Time passes. Duke Simon is growing up fast and eager to learn. To sleep politics. Prince Alexander, your son has grown more confident and charming. He has gained plus one charisma. Lucratia the Younger has converted to Greek paganism. Nice. So, let's see here. Spooked, spooked wheel. Irax might be good. Monastasis. Monastery, monotheism. As a state religion or polytheism can build each shrine in every city. Ah, that's a law. Or you can go with monotheism, which is like one god, I guess. You can build monasteries, enable apprentice monk, 60% for adjacent group class improvements. I kind of want to go. <clears throat> Always tricky. Here we are. Let's go for Let's go for smoke. Let's see here. You should go. There. You should also go there. Ionian Sea. Even more days. They are everywhere. I am not surprised. As a Swedish person, I am not surprised that the Danes are everywhere. Postful heir. The royal family of Karatash visits the court. During a feast, Princess Isabel of Karatash makes a shocking boast about how much better a ruler she will be one day. Queen Dido, the intrepid of Karatash, decides her for her brashness and turns to us for support. What do we say? Isabel's youth reveals her great ignorance. Queen Dido gains more opinion for us without a doubt Debo is a laughing stock. Princess Isbal Yeah you rule well and so will Prince Isbal of Carthage one day. <clears throat> um we are charming so we can charm them both. That's good. You have researched the aristocracy technology and you have a an available candidate on your court with the orator, diplomat or commander archetype. Then you may appoint an ambassador using the glowing scroll. I will appoint Princess Consort Arete Young as an ambassador so I may conduct diplomacy. Yeah. 
let's do it. And let's end here. Babylonians clearing out some. Oops. That's bad. So we have our ranger ranged unit here. Go here and then they can start massaging this unit. You can fortify here. Check next unit. And the next unit. Let's keep exploring here for a bit. Drunken misconduct. Troubling report arrives concerning the Ukipias. The academy has repeatedly censured Ukipias for drunken behavior in class. Hmm, it's classy. And at all times of the day, they resorted, they resorted to locking him in his chamber at night, but still found him in a drunken stupor the next morning. The other families and the principal of the academy wishes to expel the student, but they require your consent. Ah, I guess sometimes some people are simply a lost cause. Ambassador missions. You can use your ambassador to conduct diplomatic missions. Just select the portrait of your ambassador in the top right and you will see their available actions in the panel on the left side of the screen. An ambassador can make peace with nations and tribes, form a trade mission, offer and demand tribute and more. Yes, I will use my ambassador. How can I use it? A trade mission would be good with Kartash. I don't know what I get out of it, but... I would say I am liking this game. It's really different from Civilization. Uh, at the same time, they are so different that it's kind of hard to not feel that this game is a lot slower. It's more of like a mix between like uh, Crusader Kings and Civilization. I'm not sure I'm totally loving it, but it is a really nice change in comparison, having played a lot of Civilization before and really liking that series, it's really hard to kind of not feel that this is a lot slower, but uh, maybe that's, maybe I'm, I'm still warming up to this, I think.